1962, three men at the University of Oklahoma injected LSD into an elephant. Like for real. They claimed they intended on performing an experiment to see if LSD would induce must, a common and naturally occurring condition causing elephants to become violent and out of control. It didn't. Tesco was injected with about 300,000 micrograms of LSD, and within minutes fell to the floor and suffered violent seizures and spasms. He died less than two hours later. Whether this was from direct effect of the LSD or something else has never been proven and is the subject of much controversy. This is the story of Tesco, the elephant who died on LSD. Tesco the elephant, originally from India, was a young male who eventually called the Oklahoma City Zoo his home. He found companionship with a female elephant named Judy and lived a normal life for the most part. That was until the fall of 1962 came around. Three men led by the infamous Dr. Louis Jollyon West, also known as Jolly, decided on the experiment. Jolly became famous for many different experiments and studies. He was involved in everything from studies of POWs of the Korean War, to being one of the first to call Scientology a cult, to the CIA's MK Ultra Subproject 43. Dr. Jolly and his associates claimed the intent of the experiment was to study the effects of must in elephants. Must is a common reoccurring condition in which young male elephants become very unpredictable and wild. An elephant will secrete a thick black tar-like substance from the temporal ducts of the sides of their head. Also, their testosterone levels can be as much as six times greater than normal. However, whether the surge of hormones is the sole cause of must is unknown. Scientific investigation is problematic because even the most docile elephants become highly violent towards humans and other elephants. The goal of the experiment was much like LSD experiments on humans at the time. Many believed LSD was only good for replicating insanity and bringing on severe mental breakdowns. Jolly believed that the LSD given to Tesco at the time could possibly bring on must and once that occurred they would sedate the elephant and research further. Or that was the plan. The night wonder of the universe! The wild zone flying elephant! <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I want you to keep this in mind. The amount of LSD given is very controversial. The dosage for Tesco was unwisely chosen based on the assumption that elephants would be resistant to its effects much like other animals had in previous experiments. See, for whatever reason, when they gave most animals LSD, they were much less sensitive to the compound than humans were. For example, a large dose of LSD for a human would be around 200 micrograms. Based on this, the calculated dose for an elephant Tesco size, if used in the same formula, would actually be 9,000 micrograms and not the 270,000 that was injected. <sighs> and if it was based on the metabolic rate of Tesco, which is much more likely the correct way, it would actually only be 3,900 micrograms. And if based on the brain size, it would only be 640 micrograms. Yes, deciding on interspecies LSD dosages is very complicated, but to instantly believe the animal would be resistant to the drug was irresponsible and whether the LSD is what actually killed the animal or not, the dosage selection was poorly considered. I mean, I'm just saying, you know? Okay, so let's finally get into exactly what happened at Tesco. It all started the day before the experiment when Jolly's team injected placebo into Tesco using a dart gun. The same mechanism that would be used the day after to inject the actual compound. After the placebo was injected, Tesco began to act a bit restless for a few minutes, but eventually went on with his regular day and showed no changes. The next day, his reaction was much different. Upon being injected with the LSD, Tesco began to act restless as he did the day before, but then stopped running and began to appear disoriented. His mate Judy approached him and appeared to attempt to support him. He began to sway back and forth until his back legs buckled and it became difficult for him to maintain himself upright. Only five minutes after the injection, he trumpeted loudly collapsed, fell heavily onto his right side, defecated, and began to have severe convulsions. The limbs on his right side hyperextended and held stiffly out from the body. The limbs on the left side were curled up into the body and there were tremors throughout. His eyes stood closed but were fidgeting in the socket, and his breathing began to get very rough. His tongue, which he had bitten, was purple. About 20 minutes after the initial LSD dose, promazine hydrochloride was administered directly into the veins in Tesco's ears to alleviate the spasms he was suffering from. However, over the next hour, it had little to no effect. Despite a last minute effort to save Tesco with an injection of pentobarbital sodium, a compound used to decrease the effects of LSD, 
He died less than two hours after the LSD had been injected. The autopsy showed Tusco had died from strangulation secondary to laryngeal spasms. Basically, he choked to death. No information was discovered to help with the must disorder in elephants, and this experiment is to this day known to be one of the most bizarre animal experiments of all time. But only 22 years later, somebody did it again. Another study was done in 1984 by Ronald Siegel. This time they used the information from Tesco's experiment and were much more responsible with their dosages. Siegel performed the experiment on a male and female elephant after months of determining what the correct dosage was. It was found that injecting the compound would be too rapid of an onset, so they decided that orally administering the LSD would be best. Both elephants were given a low dosage and a high dosage. With the low dosage, there were only mild effects, much like those initially shown by Tesco in the first five minutes before he collapsed. With the higher dosages, the male elephant began to show signs of aggression, accompanied by swaying and closing of the eyes. Both animals denied eating or feeding, but the male did use his hay to bathe in rather than eat. The female showed many signs that Tesco did. She collapsed and her legs did hyperextend, but her breathing was normal. After about 60 minutes and with help from her trainer, she got up and eventually both elephants were fine. Siegel did find that the death of Tusco cannot be fully explained by this study. It appears that the absolute dose of LSD given to Tusco, who weighed almost twice what the elephants here weighed, may have been a major factor in exceeding the threshold for toxic effects, especially when injected. It was also found there was no correlation between the mental effects of LSD and must, and no other experiment of this kind was ever performed again. Poor Tesco. You know, in telling this story, you start to think about things like, God damn, it's just, a, it's just an elephant. <laughs> but it's kind of fucked up. I mean, I am one to understand, you know, having a crazy experience. And I mean, I guess nothing like damn near 300,000 micrograms of LSD, but also I'm not an elephant. I don't know. This story got weird. <laughs> Smoke some, drink some for Tesco. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Usually I try to have a moral of the story, but this is just interesting to me. It should definitely be a learning experience for the scientific community. You know, I mean, I haven't heard of anything like this recently, so looks like they learned their lesson. <laughs> For those who haven't already, we are supported on Patreon here, and I would just like to shout out everybody on Patreon for just holding it down and just making things easier, and thank you so much. Yeah, check out the links in the top corners of your screen, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.